Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. I'm here with Coach Tia and we're going to go over this week's muscle minute workout. So for this workout, we're going to have nine different exercises, three groups of three exercises to be exact. You're going to do each exercise for 60 seconds. You'll about 10 seconds to switch to the next exercise. We're going to go through all three groups two times today. Okay, you ready, Tia? Ready. Okay, so we're going to start with our kettlebell goat bag hinge, or you can go with the deadlift on this one as well. So you got a couple options on this one. Everybody remember that we threw that change in here. So for that goat bag hinge, you're gonna get that kettlebell pushed against your stomach here, right at that belly button. You're gonna sit your butt back like you're trying to touch it against the wall, and then you're gonna drive those legs into the floor, pull those kneecaps up towards you, getting those glutes squeezed nice and tight. If you prefer to work on your deadlift here, you'll go down to the floor, arch that lower back, drive on up and squeeze those glutes, deep breath in, in, push that air out as you drive up here. This one you're going to go a little bit more controlled. The go back hinge, you're going to move a little bit faster, so it's up to you. Our second exercise is our single arm bent over row. So, arch that lower back, wall up those abs, squeeze that shoulder blade as you pull that hand right towards your ribs. Try to keep your chest out over your toes here. You have a couple options. You can go half of that minute doing the one arm, then switch to the other arm halfway through or you can do 60 seconds on one side, do the other arm when you come back through. Now, if this is a little hard on your lower back, you can get into that staggered stance here, so you've got more of that weight on that front leg, it's gonna take some pressure off your lower back and pull with that opposite arm here, so that's up to you. Our third exercise in this group is our kettlebell squat press. So, kettlebell right there at your chest, you're gonna take a deep breath in, drive up, and then use that momentum coming out of that squat to reach for the ceiling with that kettlebell. It's a deep breath, push that air out as you drive up, nice and controlled here. Again, 60 seconds is a good amount of time. If you're getting tired, you hold it at your chest, take a deep breath, and then get going again, or you move to your body weight squats to make sure you can keep getting quality reps in here. So that's up to you. Our second group of exercises, we're going to grab a dumbbell here, and we're gonna do a dumbbell step up to press. So Tia's got her left foot on the box, which means she's gonna be pressing with that right arm. She's taking a deep breath in, and then as she steps up, she's pressing up to the ceiling here, using that momentum from that step to drive that dumbbell up to the ceiling as well here. Again, here you can switch halfway through and switch your arm and leg, or you can do 60 seconds on one side and do 60 seconds on the other when you come back around to this one. Our second exercise in this group is push-up. So we're gonna go down to the floor here. You can work from those toes, squeeze those shorter weights, push that air out. You can go down from your toes, lower those knees, and then press up from your knees. Again, down from your toes, up from your knees. You can work from your knees, or you can work the chest press on the suspension trainer, or any other push-up variation that you'd like to do in this one. The world is yours. And then from there, we're going into our dumbbell reverse lunge to bicep curl. So two dumbbells at your size. You're gonna step back into that reverse lunge and then drive up and curl those dumbbells right to your shoulders here. Deep breath in, curl them on up here. Focus on using that momentum coming out of that lunge to get that curl in. Nice deep breath in on the way down, pushing the air out. Focus on your breathing, make sure it's matched up with your movements. Now we're on to our last group of three exercises. We're gonna start here with the suspension trainer. We're gonna work some triple squats. So elbows at those ribs. We go lunge, lunge, squat here. So it's a lunge on each leg and then a squat going through that cycle as many times you can, that's 60 seconds. If you want to take it up a notch, you can throw the jump in. So it's lunge, jump, lunge, jump, squat, jump, whichever one you can do well here, that's the one I want you to work on. And then from there, we're gonna stay right there. We're gonna lean back, we're gonna work those TRX rows. So moving plank position, toes pulled up, squeeze those glutes, squeeze those shoulder blades to push your, or to pull yourself up, pushing your chest forward to the top, deep breath in on the way down, push that air out as you pull yourself up here. One good rep at a time to make it heavier, you step further in, to make it lighter, you step a little further out. Challenge yourself with the weight on this one, you can always make it lighter as you're getting tired. From there, our last exercise of the day, we're gonna finish with some ball slam burpees. So, Grab that slam ball, reach high overhead, slam that ball down as hard as you can, kick back into that burpee, pick that ball back up and slam it down. You can do the step back burpee here as well after you slam that ball, so you slam it, and then one leg at a time, or you can do that traditional ball slam, reaching high overhead, sitting back, and then picking it right back up. Use your whole body to slam that ball. Again, think one good rep at a time. You don't have to rush on these. Just make sure you're doing them well as hard as you can. Okay, that's our muscle minute workout for this week. Great job, Tia.